Hello, I am Raymond Woods, and today I will be discussing the video game company known as Valve Corporation. The main points I will cover include the history of the company, its main products and achievements, the corporate culture inside, the career opportunities available, and any additional information for any interested parties. Valve was founded in Kirkland, Washington on the east side of Seattle by former Microsoft employees Gabe Newell and Mike Harrington. In 1998, Valve released their first video game, Half-Life, to critical acclaim. In 2000, Harrington left the company to travel the world with his wife, though he left on a rather high note with all the employees there. In 2003, Valve incorporated and moved to its location in Bellevue, Bellevue, Washington, which is still in the same area, but they got a bigger building. While their finances are not made public, Valve was estimated by Forbes to be worth about two to four billion dollars in 2011, which is rather significant for such a small, relatively small company in the video game industry. Valve has a massive catalog of products, even beyond video games. Some of their notable video game series include Half-Life, Portal, Team Fortress, Counter-Strike, and Dota, all very popular with critics and fans alike. However, beyond that, in 2004, they developed the Source Engine, a powerful video game engine upon which their most recent video games have been built. Steam is a digital video game distribution service, which has attracted millions of users and has made a lot of money for Valve, while power providing a convenient and efficient method of video game sales. This has done a lot of good for both Valve as a company and for the community, as other video game companies, both big name ones and indie companies, can release their works more easily and get their name out there. The Steam Machine is a pre-built computer that Steam built to model the convenience of a video game console with the power and complexity of a gaming PC, which also has Steam implemented very nicely. And finally, Valve has also dabbled in other narrative works, including comics and a potential movie collaboration with J.J. Abrams, though we haven't heard much about that recently. Valve is quite famous for their family-like corporate body, which provides a comfortable and casual working environment. Notably, they have massive community snack rooms and computer part rooms for employees to take from at their leisure. They value snacks and food and also computer parts to help facilitate the completion of projects, so they think they should give them out for free to their employees. Gabe Newell has described their corporate structure as flat, meaning that, excluding executive management, all employees work on a similar level of hierarchy and more or less drive their own products. Now, this can either be a positive or negative experience for you, depending on the type of person and employee you are. Some like to have be self-driven. Some really need others to tell them what to do. So perhaps if you're the latter, you should not work at a company like Valve. Finally, while Valve doesn't provide a lot of career opportunities for students right out of college, more experienced workers in the industry, perhaps with two or three years already, can find some incredible opportunities. As a video game and software development company, most of their main positions are related to computer science. These positions can, vary, can pay very well, with salaries ranging from $80,000 to $150,000. However, they also have a range of non-computer science positions. This includes artists, management, economists, and various types of engineers, including industrial, mechanical, and electrical. These jobs provide a pretty similar range of salaries as the computer science ones, with a bit more variation. All of this information was found from the official Valve job listings website, as well as Glassdoor, which indicates more of the salary and number side of it. Sadly, Valve only has one location in Seattle, Washington. So, if you want to make a career with them, you will have to move to the West Coast and really make a life out of it. However, if you like the city of Seattle, this is a great setup for you. Uh, in 2013, Valve had a program called the Pipeline Intern Project that took high school students and introduced them to the processes of creating video games. But sadly, not much has been heard about this program since then. It is not known if more internship opportunities will open up to the future, for high school or college students, but they have had a history of doing so, so perhaps it'll happen again. Here are links from their official website if you would like to learn more about the company or their career opportunities. And these are my citations. Thank you very much.